uh, for week 23 of its tea time, 210, and um, I apologize for not making a video last week. Um, my throat is actually sounding sort of <clears throat> like I'm coming down with a cold or something, but um, anyways, uh, I apologize about not making a video last week. I shall be doing it shortly. Um, I still need to interview my friends. I just didn't get it together. Um, I'm going to interview one of my female friends and one of my male friends um, out here. So um, you can look forward to that in the future. Um, I will be posting those. Um, all right, so this week of It's Tea Time is about kids. Um, now, I am not a kid person. I do not like kids. Um, not to say I hate kids, I'm just not very fond of them. Um, there are some people that are definitely all about kids and not me. Um, I'm 26 years old. I possibly would have kids one day, um, but I'm sort of of the responsible mentality where I um, am not going to have kids until unless I can provide for them and really be a good father figure. Um, I just feel like that's sort of the responsible thing to do. Um, and me having kids is pretty much contingent on having a partner that wants kids. Um, I don't really have a partner at this time, and I, by myself, don't know that I would want kids. Um, I do feel like I would do, um, even if I never had kids, that I would do mentoring um, and be, or teach, uh, be involved in young people, um, I guess, children's lives because I feel like that's sort of important, and that is something I want to do on a certain level, but I feel like, um, first of all, I would never have a kid that was biologically mine, um, probably not, uh, because I feel like everything sort of happens for a reason, and there's a reason why I can't naturally have a kid the way I would like to, um, and I also feel like there's a ton of kids in this world that need help, um, that need a good parent figure, or um, mentor or whatever in their life and they don't get that so um, if I were going to have kids um, further on down the line a lot further <laughs> um, I would probably adopt um, I you know if I don't know there's always the possibility that I would be with somebody who already had kids or be with somebody who wanted to have their own biological kids and that I mean that's sort of something where I can say this is where I stand on this right now but depending on the person depending on the situation that can all that's always you know a possibility um I'm not a big fan of the rap that FTMs have gotten um in the news um more recently um with the whole Thomas Beatty thing um and the L word um, and things like that with um, FDMs carrying um, their own biological child to turn um, and having a kid. Um, <clears throat> I feel like that is wildly inappropriate for me. Um, I'm not a female, um, a male, and I would never be pregnant or want to be pregnant. Um, I would say I would want to be pregnant in the sense that if your wife is pregnant or your husband, I guess, uh, I, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> I guess it, it, if your wife is pregnant or, um, I don't know, whatever, then you can say we're pregnant. But I I just, I'm not into that whole thing. I, I just feel like I probably wouldn't want to have kids. Um Let's see. So I would never biologically have my own child um, unless there's a way. No, there's not a way to do that. So I'm not. If there's a way to give me sperm to have a child, possibly. Um, but since there's not, um, I'm probably not going to have any biological children. And I'm okay with that, actually. Um, there are a lot of other things that upset me more. And maybe when I'm older, um, I don't know, I might be frustrated by that, um, but for right now, I'm content with that. I'm glad that I don't have to constantly be worrying about that, um, be worrying.
worrying about uh, making sure that I'm not getting any of the women that I sleep with pregnant, um, be worried about how to provide for a kid, um, child support, um, the fatherhood, young, old, whatever. Um, I'm glad that that's not one of my concerns. Um, so that's pretty much that. Um, if I had a kid, I would adopt. Um, I don't really plan on having kids, um, but it's always a possibility. Um, I would prefer to be a mentor. Um, I really would. I would prefer to be a teacher. I would prefer to have contact with children and young people in, uh, in a way, but I don't know that I want my own kids. Um, but like I said, there's a lot of people out there in this world um, that need parents, um, need responsible parents. Um, so there's always a possibility that I would do that. Um, so that's it for this week, and I will talk to you guys later. Um, and, oh, I did want to say that if you want to have your own kids, um, if you want to get pregnant, and you're an FDM, or transgender, or like, however you label, identify, whatever, um, that's your business, and I don't have anything against people personally doing that. Um, the whole thing that I mentioned with Thomas Beatty is that I feel like that's turned into the face of um, F2Ms, at least in the larger culture, um, just sort of the way that um, loud and, I don't want to say obnoxious because that's, that's not really the right word for it, but um, loud and ridiculous um, drag queens, I guess, is the face for M to Fs um, a lot of times, and that's that just is a stereotype, and that doesn't really fit. Um, my biggest problem with the stereotype of F to Ms transitioning and then popping out their own kids is that I feel like in a lot of ways it, um, while that's fine for a person or certain people to do, um, I don't have anything against with it. I have a problem with that sort of being the face of the FTM community, and I feel like that almost in a certain way um, suggests that we're not that committed to becoming male-bodied, um, and I don't know, I, I feel like it, it sort of gives credence to the argument of, um, you know, us changing our minds or um, that you should wait longer for surgery, or that people don't really know what they want even when they're older, and I don't think that's true. Um, and that's that's what I the problem that I have with it. It's not specifically the person or the case. It's just how the larger world I feels like I feel like views that and thinks that we're not as um, I don't know that it's not a huge deal um, to transition and that they think that it's sort of like a back and forth sort of a thing. Um, and, and I, I don't feel that way. Um, some people might feel that way and that's fine for them. But I, I, from all the trans people that I've known and talked to, that does not seem to be the case for most of them. And I feel like for that to be the prom predominant view, um, of FDMs in our culture is, is sort of wrong. And I, I don't appreciate that. Um, I don't appreciate FMs just being labeled a tomboys either and just being swept under the rug. I don't appreciate um, the Maury show and Sally and all those crappy TV shows they had back in the 90s that I would watch where they would drag um, boys and girls who were dressing opposite to their biological gender on there and, and can force them um, to, to dress appropriately for their for their biological gender um so yeah anyways i'm getting off topic um i just thought that i would mention it since we're talking about kids and that's sort of been in the media a lot and uh, not recently but within the last year or two um so anyways i think uh, this is all set i will update on my personal channel um if you're interested you can see how things are going along for me after top surgery and i will see you guys next week and hopefully before that i will post the video for last week all right take care peace